For all your NRG innovation product needs, make sure you check out driveenergy.com. That's D R I V E N R G dot com. What's up, everybody? Welcome back. I am Evil Rabbit here on the channel. We are on Forza Horizon 4. Trying to do a little 360 into there. In my 88 M5 Forza edition that we just did receive from a wheel spin. So we are here today to uh, do a drift build on a car as a request by a subscriber. The first drift build of the channel from a subscriber to. But before we do that, we are going to get into a showcase event which I'm very excited to be doing which is the halo showcase event so we're gonna do that then we're gonna get into the nitty-gritty and getting a drift car built we are just sliding on our m5 right now we are in a logitech g920 with our energy innovation 350 millimeter wheel hydraulic cam brakes sequential shifter mod but before we get cruising there there's one thing I do want to show you guys so I know um, I had it in other games we do have a team now but that is for select members which People will be able to get invited to or request and try and get into the main team of Team Evil Rabbit. But the one thing that I did make now right here is the Team Evil Rabbit. So it is a club now. If you guys want to join it, it is free to join. Uh, you don't have to do anything other than, I believe, just join in. So uh, it should be completely open, I believe. Maybe not. Oh, nope, we gotta change this. Uh, free to join right there. So club, uh, Team Evil Rabbit Club is available free to join. So the club is open for any of you guys that wanna join. Just let me know, you guys can join. It's free to join in. If you guys wanna be a part of this team and of this club, let me know either down in the comment section or just join in, Urgent Recall. <laughs> Are you my dad? Urgent, definitely a funny character. Definitely a good friend of mine from the UK. So like I said, we are gonna hit the Halo um, showcase event here, which I've been super excited to get to because I am a Halo junkie. I've been playing every Halo game since they've came out. So we got about six miles to drive there, so I figured we would uh, just rip this M5 and uh, see if we can't get some slides in this M5 since uh, it is set on drift suspension and just have a little ooh, scenic drift adventure to this showcase event. And then we will get into building a full car here on the channel and uh, get into the uh, nitty gritty of the suspension and everything like that, what I feel is working for me. So, like I said, we got about a six mile drive. We're gonna cruise it up there and uh, maybe hit some turns on the way. So, if you guys are enjoying, apparently got another car ready. If you guys are enjoying these Forza Horizon 4 videos, let me know in the comments section down below. That's a railroad track. Well, good thing there wasn't a car or another train on its way. So, I am uploading this video today because I missed uh, yesterday's upload and I wanted to bring an upload for you guys. We're going to see if we can't get this thing a little bit sideways right there. Oh, I feel like I probably could have gotten that uh, that board right there. So apparently, who in my hamster has uh, 30 more routes discovered than I do. But it's alright. La. We'll get our way there with Rose Discovered too. Six gear slide. I did not think that was going to have enough power. This is a Forza Edition M5. 1988, I believe. It uh, definitely uh, handles pretty well on drift suspension. Probably could handle a lot better. Some more power and some maybe uh, some more fine tuning. I'm going to overshoot that. I thought that was a lot shorter than it actually was. So, if you guys have completed the showcases especially as Halo 1 this is one I've been very excited to get to like I said been a Halo fan since the beginning been playing since Halo 1 I've done a lot of Halo games so to see this Halo thing in here is uh, definitely a lot of fun uh, Cortana did make the announcement out a little bit ago when I reached level 20 saying you know chief I need your help and uh, we're gonna go see if we can't help Cortana out a little bit Just drifting through the city right now it's weird that there's really no traffic in the city I don't know if that's just a weird bug or if that's just how it is but 
I don't know, it doesn't seem like there's any traffic here when there should be. So I bet you we could have chose a faster car to get here, but uh, figured I would uh, just cruise this M5 since I did just get it built. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to catch you guys when we get there. I'm gonna probably hightail past fast this way. I will catch you guys when we get to the Halo showcase and then we will get into a drift build as a request by a subscriber. So uh, I'll see you guys at the Halo adventure. Specializing UNSC training protocol 165FD. Huh, FD. Go figure. Drifting, maybe? <laughs> I'm so excited for this, actually. I have not watched any of the people doing the showcases online because I have not wanted to spoil it for myself. So, first time, UNSC Warthog. This should be fun. The Warthog was pretty fun in uh, the other horizon, so. Uh, Kind of excited to see how it drives now, but we are on the dirt and we are on a wheel. So let's see what happens. Oh, it's Master Chief. Please tell me I get to keep that suit. Maybe not. That would be sweet if I could keep it. Pelican. Oh boy. Let's go. Halo experience With the showcase. ongoing and evolving threat posed by an increasingly focused Covenant, all frontline UNSC personnel are expected to complete the following training exercise. Upon completion of the training exercise, oh. please submit results to UNSC Fleetcom for assessment. Um, all right, Cortana. Oh boy, they have the Halo ring back there, this and we're in a Warthog on the beach. Cortana, do you read me? I heard you need a pickup. Um, oh. Kilo actual. Perfect timing. We are all done here and ready for dust off. Whoa! So this warthog uh, Sorry, Cortana. feels pretty good. Oh man, this is gonna get cool. I'll scan for a new LZ. Holy Chief, crap! Get, get us out of here. Um. Okay. What is this place? I don't know. Looks like a fortification of some kind, but it hasn't been used in centuries. It's a pretty sweet what? castle. Who am I racing? Banks? Okay, new LZ found. We don't have long. This ring is gonna go nuclear in three minutes, and we do not want to be here when it does. Uh, no, I don't want to be on the ring when it explodes. To your nav. Be there for evac in three minutes. I got three minutes. There's two of us in here now. All right. So. Look at these ancient dwellings. It almost looks like something lives here. Just go straight up here. We've got a better chance of avoiding those banshees off the road. Yep. Okay. So, this is actually a lot of fun. I wish this stuff was... Oh, okay, there's another one. I wish this stuff was actually... Actually, in the game. And there's the Banshees. They did a pretty awesome job with this. This Warthog does feel pretty sweet. I kind of want one now. I, hopefully, I actually get one. Because this thing is a lot of fun to drive. Alert. Banshees. Fast and low. Oof. Almost, uh, almost missed that turn. I like how they got the uh, the shields and everything just strewn about here in Britain. This is Cortana to all air support units. I'm sending you coordinates for an LZ, requesting immediate evac. Repeat, all air support units to the LZ. Well, Cortana, apparently. I'm the green from three, oh boy. Four, make that five pelicans. On route five? To the LZ. You and the Marines had better be there soon. I mean, okay. So. Cortana, I can't follow. They said three minutes. We're sixty percent done with two minutes. This cave is not a natural formation. Uh, no, this is not. Oh boy, I kind of like the fact that we're just uh running squad deep here with these uh warthogs right now. Oh my, that banshee came close. So. My impressions of this this uh this warthog on the on the dirt, this thing handles so nice. It feels really good on the wheel actually. I thought it was gonna be like kinda crazy. It's not kinda coming out from under me, which is nice. If I paid attention to my gearing, I'd probably be better. Cortana to all units, the LZ is right ahead. We have thirty seconds before the ring superstructure begins to collapse. Thirty seconds before the ring? Don't Oh my gosh. Don't spin me out. 
Ooh, thank you. Doing wheel to wheel with this guy. I didn't want to spin myself out. 15 seconds, Chief. 15 seconds? Ten, um. Nine. What? Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Oh my god. Gonna make it. Did I miss that? Pilot, this would be a very good time to leave. Did I make it? Horizon Festival training module complete. Initiating upload of results to I hope I hope Fleetcom. that 317 wasn't I hope she said three minutes after we had started So that actually was a lot of fun. Hopefully we get the warthog because that would be even better We are uh, over that million now dollar mark now. I know a lot of people have a lot more money than me But I haven't had time and do one of this stuff. So well, oh we get a jeep And we got the level 22 we got the jeep trail cats Level 22, we get a wheel spin. I would like that 200k. Give me that 200k on the wheel spin. Don't give me something stupid. See if Team Thorn. I don't think I'll ever use that, but it's a legendary horn, so I guess it's a cool thing we got it. So, now to get into the drift build, we are going to build a drift car. If I can buy the car, I need to actually check. We're going to tune it up, get it all set, and uh, get the thing sideways and see how we do. And I'm five just chilling and hopefully we will be able to buy the car that I want to tune because if I can't that would just make this episode a lot uh, a lot less interesting we will have to find another car to do there we go Nissan Skyline R32 so we did get a request from a subscriber to do an R32 drift build so uh we're gonna do it we're gonna build an r32 get this thing sideways give you the ins and outs of how i tune it so to see if you guys like the tune and uh want to make the car yourself you can eighty five thousand dollars for that r32 yeah i do like the r32 probably one of my favorite skylines is the r32 i know everybody likes the r34s and r35s i kind of like uh i'm kind of partial to the r32 there so I wonder what type of body modifications we can do to this. So we're going to get right into tuning this car. Uh, we're going to go to tuning and we're going to upgrade this car. Yes, I understand. Ooh, we have a wide body on this? Um, I did not know that was a thing. Oh, man. Yep. Definitely doing the wide body. We got to make this thing rear-wheel drive. We're going to leave it stock motor for everything right now. Can we add some sort of rocket bunny spoiler? Ooh. That rocket bunny spoiler is adjustable, too. I think we're going to throw that on. This thing looks pretty sweet. And then, of course, we got to go two sport tires. Those are the, uh, my tires of choice. We're going to go with some 245s in the front. Gonna get some uh, meteor rear tires, 265s. And then, uh, as for wheels, kind of liking those six spokes, but I'm actually not sure what wheels I want to throw on this. I feel like some 5015 2 Tarmacs will be good. For right now, we can always change them afterwards. I'm gonna bump them up to 18s. And then we are going to pretty much get all the uh, transmission parts we can and of course an LSD in the rear that is a wide R32 I did not know that the R32 had a full wide body so we're gonna throw some big brakes on there go all the way to drift suspension that thing goes stupid low we're actually just gonna go with sport uh, sport any roll bars here you know what? Nah, we'll go full anti roll bars. We'll try to see what full anti roll bars will do. And we'll go with a roll cage. Lighten that car up as best we can. 2,700 pounds. And now to the fun part. Throwing power adders on this car. Depending on how much I want to go for power. We're probably just going to go... Probably all the way up there. And hopefully this thing will uh, get pretty sideways with us and... Uh, be very friendly otherwise 
We're gonna have to mess with this. this the uh, tuning of this 787, I believe. 800 horsepower. That is a very powerful car. I think 800 horsepower is probably too much. So we're gonna bump this down to. We're gonna keep stock turbos at 584. We can always add power adders if we want to. Final cost of the build is gonna be 87 plus the original 85. So basically 100. 180, 190, maybe 200,000 once we're done with everything because we'll probably add more to it. And now we're going to, not my tunes, we're going to get into the tuning. We're going to throw a basic tune on this car and uh, we will see how it handles on that. We're going to go 25 and 23 and a half. Gearing will leave till we get a drive. We're going to drop the camera down. I feel like five degrees is a lot. And we're going to kick this up to 1, kick this up to 5. We're going to leave the caster. So 3, 1, 1, and 5. And then anti roll bars. We are going to soften them up a little bit. Make sure the rear is a little bit softer. There we go. Spring rate. Drop that down. Leave that how it is. We're going to knock the front up by 1 to give a little bit of a movement in the front end. And then, of course, we're going to change brake pressure for tandem style brakes. That could be adjusted however you feel. You want to adjust it. And then there. So that's a quick throwdown setup on this car. So now we're going to uh, hit the streets with it. It looks sick. I think it's so low. Oof. Oh, yeah. This car definitely... Uh, looks the part but can it perform the part is the question so we're gonna head up to the uh, hairpin sections give a little quick shakedown on the car it looks sick in the gray actually handles pretty well actually we're just gonna send it rip it in there we go and actually Right off the bat, I can tell we are going to have to change our gear ratio. If it wasn't for the gearing, we'd be okay. So let's, uh, let's uh, throw a quick gear change on this car. And uh, it handles actually very well off the get-go. So we're going to throw some... Uh, oh, wow, that was way up there. I'm going to throw that to 490. Some more acceleration in this car. That feels better. So now we're gonna send it in. Go around that bus or panel van and we caught grass so it kinda got screwed up a little bit. This car actually handles very well, oh my god. <laughs> I didn't think it was out of the box going to handle this well. Right. I threw that a little bit too much. I some walk yesterday and I think I saw something. Something we need to find. As in now. Right Wall. now. Come oh, grab. I'm not going right now, buddy. We're getting sideways in this R32. This actually handles quite well how it's set now. I think I may actually leave it like this. the brakes a little bit to keep wheel spin but change my direction we have to flip this back up we're gonna run it uphill so I think uh, this is a pretty decent basic tune on this car so if you guys want to build this tune I think you can try these settings that I have up here I will also upload this tune onto the tune place oh my gosh that's actually very smooth I may have found about one of my new favorite drift cars on here. Yep, I need to get some friends on here, get some tandems with this car because this is uh, this is actually insane. This handles a little bit better than my S13. Run that outside edge. I think I may have found a new favorite car, so I will put this tune up for you guys to download if you guys want to try it out. R32 drift build, full wide body. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to mess with this car because this car is, uh, a lot of fun. 
Go around the mini. So, until next time, guys, you know you can follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. All of which are found in the description box below. I flipped my wrist the wrong way. <laughs> and as always, like, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode with the showcase on the Halo showcase as well as a little drift build for you. One of many coming to the channel here. New Autumn Barn Finder River. I think I'm going to go find that. But, as always, like, thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit, and I will see you guys either on the server or next time. This thing handles very well till we cut it out. And the sound glitches out. Come on, Forza.